Hey guys, what is up? This is Click Decision, and I am here to make you guys the greatest tutorial of all time. This is the tutorial to help you play Melee Online. Yes! Right? Is that not the most exciting thing in the world? Like, oh my god, I, I have just been, like, cursed with having the most casual-ass friends to play, and I, I've never been able to get better. Everyone just wants to play free-for-all items on, all this nonsense. I ain't got time for that! I want to get good! I want to, like, you know, go to tournaments and do cool things and be at a respectable level of play, you know? I want to, like, get combo videos and shit, right? So, <laughs> yeah, th this is this is finally an opportunity for us, for those of us that never had the environment to get better, you know? And th this is going to be so damn cool. And I think a lot of people are really intimidated because uh, they'll look at the link on how to... Uh, <laughs> how to do this and there's just a lot of text a lot of text and people just assume oh my god this is the biggest headache in the world you know but actually it's not that bad no it is it is that bad because I, I I had a, a huge headache trying to figure this out I must have tried like three four times and I don't know I swear to god I did everything right but something just got messed up anyways after a lot of trial and error I finally did it and I still don't even know for sure what the hell I, where I went wrong but I'm here to share my knowledge and my experience yeah, so you guys can do this really painless and, uh, yeah, easy peasy. So what, what, there's three files that you need. A, you need the game. B, you need the emulator to play the game on. And you need this thing called an INI file, which I don't know what that, what it, whatever. The point is, the INI file is like this thing, it's like a template so everyone is on the same page. It unlocks all the characters, all the stages. It makes it so that by default you're at four stock, eight minutes. So that way when you play against somebody online, both of you guys are on the same page. You have the same exact settings and you guys are all synced up, good to go. So let's just uh, jump into it. So first off, by the way, I have links on the bottom of, in the description. So yeah, anyways, you're going to get this. This is It's at CoolRom.com. It's very important that you get the right version of Melee. And that version is uh, 1.02 or also called Revision 2. So you got to get that, step one. Step. This, this is like a long download, by the way. This is like over a gig, I, I believe. Uh, so that'll take a while, to, depending on your internet connection. By the way, you need a good internet connection if you want to play this, because this, uh, this is pretty intense. And uh, let's see, the next thing you got to get is the emulator, of course. And let me just... Uh, where did I get that? Anyways, right here. This is a good link for it. This, by the way, this is the globalmelee.com site. You can get the link right here. Uh, I'm sorry, right here. There you go, sorry. Don't click these, these are outdated. Uh, outdated. But, um, yeah, again, links in the description. So you're going to get this, all right? Let me just download it right here. And uh, then you go there. And then you save it. All right, so I'm not actually going to do anything with this. Point is, it's a, it's a, it's a zip file. You extract the file to your desktop. Ain't no thing. Uh, I need to actually like delete this, but whatever. I'll delete it later. So, anyways, you you get your file, you get your folder. I'm sorry, and it's gonna look like this, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to run Dolphin. And when you run Dolphin for the first time, it will create a folder that wasn't there to begin with. Um, I might actually already have it open. I do. I already have it open. Anyways, I already have it open. I have StarCraft up. Cool. Let me get rid of this. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so you get uh, so you get this up, and uh, let's see, and that folder that it creates. Yeah, I'm a little, sorry, I was a little distracted. Okay, so you go to computer, and then you go to documents, go to Dolphin emulator, and right here, this is the game settings folder. You're gonna take that ini file that you downloaded earlier, and you're gonna put it right in here. Initially, when you open this folder, it will be blank. So just click and drag the Gale zero one thing right from the zip file onto here and bada bing bada boom no big deal so once that's in there that's a big step all right now initially when you go back to your dolphin emulator this part here is going to be blank it's gonna say some it's, it's gonna say like click here to add your your iso your iso files which are your games so what you do is you click there and you pick the directory if the, the folder exactly where your game is so in my case it's gonna be desktop and uh... GameCube games. So that's where I have the folder. You know? So just, um, yeah. Just look at the directory, and what'll happen is it'll, it'll load up just like this. You'll see it right there. And if we click on properties, um, some things that you want to make sure of. Actually, let me, let me back up a little bit. 
a little bit. Go to these are your biggest things you gotta worry about: configuration, graphics, and of course your GameCube controller, which I think that's for a separate tutorial. If I was to make one, it would be on how to do that. Uh, but let's check out configuration. This is very important. All right, all this stuff, just make it exactly how I have it. Enable decord, enable idle skipping, and this is very, very important. Enable cheats, okay? Enable cheats, because that INI file is technically considered a cheat. All right. Um, so as I just, you know, comb through these, just you know, glance at it, make sure everything's good. Um, everything's all uniform because it's very important that we all use the exact same thing. Obviously, some things don't really matter. Volume, no fucking shit. That's that's not gonna be a big deal. Um, DSP HLE emulation fast. Do I know what that means? No, but you should copy what it says. Audio backend. I feel like this might have been a big change that was stopping me from playing in the first place. Um, make sure it's X Audio 2. Again, I'm not positive if that actually makes a difference, but it did for me. So. I think if everyone is as uniform as possible, the more likely we're not going to dis desync from each other, you know, lose connection. All right, this is very, very important. You want this checked. Sy system language, um, I assume that may or may not make a difference. Leave it at English. Uh, this is very important. Slot A, slot B for memory cards. Make damn sure it says nothing. Definitely want it to say nothing, okay? This says nothing also. Also, port 1 and 2, make sure you have both of them on standard controller, okay? And Wii doesn't matter because we're not using the Wii. And there we go. Okay. Let's see. And one last thing to check here is do, 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 go to properties and go to where it says AR codes, right? This is very important. Scroll down and make sure that the only one checked in this entire list is this one right here where it says global melee net play settings codes by Zoran, Internet Explorer, JMC, and NM. Yeah, let's see. And that should do it, I believe. As far as the background settings go, you have the game, you have the emulator, uh, you have the INI file. All that's good to go. All your settings are good. Uh, the graphic settings don't actually matter. That should just be you know up to your your own specific preferences. You know how your computer handles the game and whatnot. Um, but as far as I know, the graphics should not make a difference. So you actually should be good to go. How do you actually connect to somebody? Let me show you. So let's see. First, one thing you want to get is um, do, 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 where is it? Let's see. And yeah, that's totally Ori no Moto in the background there. Uh, ice chat. All right. So there's this thing called ice chat. And what you want to do when you first download this program, it's going to ask you for a server. Okay. And you, what you want to do is type in irc.ryzen.net. Okay. Once you do that, then you're able to add specific channels from that server. All right. And what you do is you go to <clears throat> you go to add new. Oh, I'm sorry, not that. Ugh. My bad. Uh, you want to go to favorite channels, and you can add one. You can add a channel, but I already have it added in there, of course. And that channel name is hashtag dolphin ssbm. And once it's in there, bam, you are now connected to everyone who plays this game. Which, by the way, this is a pretty this is a pretty small list of names. For how awesome Melee is, there should be way more people playing. And I think that one of the big reasons is because people are just intimidated. You know, So don't be intimidated. I think this tutorial was mostly pretty okay. Uh, let me just wrap it up though by telling you how to do it. So basically, you just go in the, go in the chat and be like, hey, I want to play, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um... And, uh... By the way, I should probably tell you how to port forward, and that allows you to host games. But you know what? For now, don't worry about it. I, I, if I do do a tutorial on that, it'll be later. For now, though, you can actually have people host it for you. Everyone on here knows how to host games. Um, it's not a big deal. So what you would do is, what you would do is, you would go to Tools, you go to Start Netplay. All right. So you would want to go to Connect. They're going to give you their IP address. They're going to give you their port number. And you just click connect, and bam, you're good to go. You are now connected, and it wasn't even that big of a deal. Now, at, when you host, though, when you host, you're going to need to go into your into your router settings, and that's kind of a different topic, and I don't want to get into it because it's kind of involved, but not really. It's about as involved as this was, but not as much. Point is, it takes a long time to talk about, and uh, I'm lazy. I don't know if you guys really don't don't know how to do it. I can explain it. 
and actually there's plenty of other uh, tutorials out there that will explain how to port forward for plenty of other plenty of other games. This, this is actually necessary for Minecraft. It's necessary to play a lot of other games such as Warcraft 3, yada yada yada. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I covered it. Uh, StarCraft Brood War 2 also uh, uses the port forward thing. So, um, yeah. There you go. I hope this was helpful. Um, I really hope I didn't miss anything. But this should be it. This should actually be 100% clear. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you on. We need more people playing. Because everyone on here will, is kicking my ass for now. <laughs> and I need some people that are actually beatable. So, um, anyways, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, take care. Peace.